this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. And another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Oh, hello, hello Harriet! Uh, hello Harriet! Hello, hello Harriet! Hello! Hello, are you okay up there? Oh, Harriet and her late night rock climbing is getting absolutely ridiculous these days. How did she get up there? <laughs> hello, Lee Bear. Good. Come and have a look at this, Lee Bear. Come and have a look at this. Look what Harriet's doing. She's been climbing up the outside of the mountain. I think she does it in her sleep. I think she gets up in the middle of the night and starts climbing up there. It's, it's dangerous. We need to rescue her. But first, we need to do something even more important than saving the woman on the edge of a cliff. We need to have our breakfast. And of course, our breakfast is going to be a cake. <laughs> Nom 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 nom. Actually, don't eat it all yet. If I go like this, then we can jump up to the fence, and then you can jump up as well, and then yum, you're gonna have the last crumb, <laughs> and then we can go and drop down. And uh, we need to try and help Harriet. We need to do this carefully, though. We do not want to risk hurting her. So let's go. Uh, let's go make her a little platform with some dirt. Carefully, careful charging up there. We want to do this as safe as we can. So if we get it to the vines, uh, she should be fine. She'll be fine on the vines. If we go and build a little platform around like this and then we just need to go and give her a little gentle nudge a little gentle nudge Lee Bear uh, onto the vines and uh, she should be okay let, let me get up there and and try and give you a, a hand oh here we go she's on this platform just very gently just little little gentle onto the vine onto the vine then she should oh careful 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 Harriet don't do anything you'll regret there we go and she's down and she's safe oh don't climb back up Harriet Harriet do not climb back up that hill you use this staircase look watch me Harriet you walk up the stairs, up the stairs. That's what they're for, okay? There we go. She nodded. She understands. <laughs> uh, anyway, while we're over here, uh, it'd be a good time to add someone to my love garden. And today, I'm adding someone for a, a very special reason. It's a, another YouTuber, and they're called David Shepard. And they have been doing a series of videos teaching people how to build my world. And so if you ever wanted to try and rebuild my world and don't want to watch my videos, <laughs> you can watch his. And he talks through uh, in detail uh, how to build everything in my house and my fun land. And uh, he pays so much attention to my videos. Uh, I thought they were really cool as I wanted to add him to my love garden and of course I give a very special mention to his daughter as well who I know watches my video so yeah welcome to my love garden and Harriet are you okay up there oh she's gone she's gone off somewhere she doesn't uh, seem to be on the uh, on the mountain I guess she's uh, gone back to the the hat shop <laughs> anyway let's go and uh, decide which dog I'm gonna go and have joining me today and uh, of course in this video uh, we're gonna be continuing building what we were building in the last episode which is the broth brawl mini game in my fun land which should be a uh, jolly good fun and hopefully uh, we're going to get it finished today. So uh, today, uh, let's take Luna with me today. And Luna uh, is sitting down here very patiently uh, over there. And are you okay, Luna? She just she just charged off the second I, I stood her up. I think I think she uh, she had something that she wanted to say to Barnaby quickly. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, let's just ride the um, the tree train today. I fancy uh, having a, a nice go on my tree train. And uh, yeah, while I'm uh, riding over there, I'm going to talk about what I have planned for the video. So uh, in the last episode, we built a very big cooking pot, and I think we made some some pretty good progress. Even though we didn't have uh, all of the uh, the materials we needed, uh, but yeah, uh, since then I've uh, made it uh, a little bit bigger, uh, just uh, a couple blocks higher, just to, to make it a little bit more impressive and a little bit bigger. And uh, in this episode, we need to fill the pot up uh, with all of the the stew, uh, which is going to be on the inside. And by the stew, I mean water, <laughs> because that's what the uh, the stew is going to be. And uh, we then need to go and build lots of very big vegetables. And uh, a lot of you know, I'm not the um. I'm not the biggest fan of vegetables. I much prefer this stuff. I much prefer eating cake. I have, I have had phases of enjoying carrots. There are times when I like carrots. I prefer carrot cake, but I did have a, a few periods where I was eating carrots, but uh, yeah, I kind of went off them again pretty quick. But in this game, we want absolutely massive vegetables. And so that is what we're going to be uh, building today. So uh, if you don't know what the game actually is, uh, you're going to be jumping over the vegetables while holding normal sized vegetables in your hands. And you need to try and knock the other people into the uh, off the vegetables and uh, into the stew so uh, as I get around this corner uh, you will see what the the pot looks like so far you can see Lee Bear uh, eagerly climbing up to try and get inside of it I made the the handles black uh, just so they stand out a little bit more and there's the uh, the fire underneath on the hob uh, heating up the uh, the big cooking pot so uh, let me go and uh, 
uh, first make her a proper way of getting up and down because that's quite important and uh, uh, Lee's method is working I guess uh, but yeah we're a bit, uh, a bit annoying doing that uh, every single time so let's go and uh, make some ladders and uh, we can do them going up the the outside and I also need to do a few stairs leading to the ladders as well and I'm actually going to do them out of the uh, the never brick uh, so that way it kind of fits in with uh, everything else uh, so there I've got a, a little bit of a never brick as well and uh, some never brick stairs and uh, let's go and try and uh, make our ladders so uh, you can see here I added in two little entrances. Well, these are actually exits rather than entrances because once you uh, drop through the stew, <laughs> you're going to drop out here and uh, then this is how you get back outside. So you can climb back up and uh, have another game. So I kind of want the, the ladders up here somewhere. So let me go and uh, grab the ladders and uh, these can be going up along the side here. And so if I do some stairs, I guess I could do some stairs there. And then if I broke away this fence, I could do stairs here and this, uh, this kind of works. I'm actually... Uh, do these stairs a little bit closer. If I do these stairs here, and then there we go, we can climb up these steps and uh, get straight up to the ladder. I might actually make it a little bit higher. <laughs> Luna seems to be testing it out and uh, seeing that it works fine. Let me just break these away. And uh, let me do the, the first stairs can be uh, a little bit higher. So if I go and place any block on the back there for now, I'm just going to go and use some dirt and uh, place that there. And I can do these stairs. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not going to be very useful for getting up, is it? If I go and... Uh, do it there. There we go. That's right. And then I can do the ones underneath. Uh, they can be here and then these ones can be here. <laughs> uh, these up, down, upside down stairs are really annoying. Let's go and place it like that. There we go. That's the right way around. And then like that. Here we go. Uh, so this can be the, the method uh, for getting up. Uh, so these little stairways are going to lead you to here and then you can go and just climb up on these ladders and oh, I'm going to have to to break this away as well uh, so I can then climb up here and get up to the top of the pot. And so this is uh, yeah, what it's going to look like from above. But obviously uh, right now it is a, a little bit empty so what we need to do now is fill this full of stew so I'm just going to go and uh, uh, hop down here for now and uh, we actually need to go and build a, a big ceiling uh, around here uh, that's going to have all of the the water above it and I think we want the ceiling uh, about here so there's going to be this is the floor then there's going to be the water and then there's going to be uh, all of the, the vegetables on this level. And uh, the reason why we're doing it quite low down is because we want to make sure that once you jump on the vegetables, uh, you can't jump back onto the, the edge of the pot. So basically, once you've jumped down and started the game, uh, there's no way to escape the pot uh, unless you either win uh, by being the last one on the vegetables or if you lose and you're you're knocked through the stew. <laughs> I kind of like being called that, that name for the game, actually. Through the stew is quite a, a good name, but uh, I kind of like the... Uh, 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 the broth brawl I think sounds uh, quite cool as well so uh, yeah we need to go and build all of this along here and then we're going to go up top and uh, put the water over this and then above that uh, we're going to be putting in all of our massive floating vegetables and there's going to be uh, they're going to be big but not crazy big because I do want to have uh, quite a lot of gaps uh, with the the water uh, so that way when you're you're knocked down uh, yeah you don't have to be knocked too far before you start falling down so I've run out of smooth stone here uh, but I think I do have some more smelting but uh, what I need to do uh, is do the the little exit so if I go to about uh, here I should be able to make a hole there and if this lines up I think that does uh, I can do the the same on the the other side here so I think I went uh, one two three back and did the hair and oh no what's going on I can hear I can hear Luna getting hurt are you okay Luna where's Luna Luna hello Luna are you okay oh the fire the fire quick come to me Luna I got some I got some steak I got some steak where's Luna where's Luna gone Luna hello please come to me Luna hello Luna, oh no, oh no, she wasn't burned, was she? She wasn't burned in the hob, was she? Oh, she's okay, she's okay, she's okay. Oh, ah, oh, you saved her, Lee. You saved her. I was so panicking. Right, Luna, come in, Luna, sit down, sit down, Luna, sit down, sit down. You're, you're coming to, you're coming in the corner. You're gonna sit in the corner and you're gonna stay, you're gonna stay absolutely safe. Let me go and build a, a little dog house for Luna just to make sure she stays completely safe. Like, here we go. We go and build this around here like this. This is going to be Luna's little safety dog. House. I can even go and uh, do the little sloped roof like this <laughs> and then do the the same on the other side and uh, then we can go and make sure that she's absolutely safe. That terrified me then. Luna is my youngest dog. You stay here and you stay safe please Luna. It's for your own good trust me. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway let's go and uh, carry on building then shall we. So uh, I want to go and get the, the spare smooth stone uh, I had from here if I can and uh, I had the, the little exits down here. Uh, so yeah this is where you're going to drop down uh, once you've lost and this is going to be where you uh, where you leave
leave the game. I think <laughs> there's a little hole here that Lee might have uh, done uh, while trying to save Luna. Right, at least we have now learned that it's not a good idea to take any of your dogs near the game because it's not safe. Uh, but while I'm down here, I might as well start gathering uh, some water. So I don't actually have any buckets on me, uh, but I can very easily go and uh, make some of them. I, of course, need to go to a crafting table then. I don't know why I was trying to craft a bucket with my hands. I just grab a sheet of iron and try and use my strength to <laughs> bend it into the, the shape of a bucket. Surprisingly, it didn't work. Right, I guess I can just go over here. Uh, to where there's a, a big old lake and I can just go and uh, steal some of the, the water from here and I guess we can then uh, just keep going back and forth. Actually, if I just go and make myself a uh, infinite water source uh, up here somewhere, uh, then I don't need to keep going back and forth. I can just go and uh, fill the entire thing uh, up with water. So let's go uh, up to the top and uh, see what progress Lee Bear has done. Oh, here we go. He's already done it. He is psychic. He knew exactly what we needed to do. So now uh, we can just go and uh, place in all of the water and uh, try and fill it all of in. Uh, we need to start... Um, calling it stew. We need to stop calling it water because the water is supposed to be, I don't know, blueberry stew or something. I've never quite seen <laughs> a stew which is quite this blue. It's a blue stew. <laughs> I've never seen one quite this stew at all. You can see it all bubbling. It's actually kind of cool uh, with all of the, the water going crazy like this. It does actually kind of look like it's a, a bubbling stew. <laughs> it just make, make it a, a little bit annoying when you fall in and start getting swept all over the place. So let's just go and uh, start filling in a little bit more around the edges. And oh, actually, something else that I want to do uh, is to to fill in the um uh, to fill in the little area that you're going to to drop down because obviously you're going to fall down here uh, we then need to make a hole uh, in the middle uh, where you're going to drop down uh, to the the little room underneath so let me go and uh, break a, a little hole here and then I can fall through and then I'm going to make a, a big mess of all of this water all over the place can I get out there we go uh, so what I want to do now is uh, make some some signs uh, to clog that up and so I am going to make another crafting table but just because <laughs> I can't be bothered to, to go and uh, get the other one and uh, let me go and make myself some signs and these signs are basically going to stop the um, the water uh, from falling uh, through the hole uh, so that way you can fall through uh, but then we won't make, uh, be making a, a massive mess with uh, all of the, the water. So um, also I'm going to go and start putting some torches around the place because it is uh, very dark in here and we want to make sure uh, that we don't get any uh, googlies in the stew. We don't want googly stew. That would taste absolutely nasty. Put some gunpowder in there and some rotten flesh. Uh, it sounds absolutely disgusting. We want vegetable stew. <laughs> right, so what I want to do is uh, try and work out the uh, the exact exact middle of this room if I can. Is this the middle? I think it needs to be a little bit further this way. And so I can place a sign there and a sign there and I can go and fill in this little gap. Oh, I'm being swept away by the, the stew. Oh no, I've fallen down. I've fallen the, in, <laughs> the entire way down. Luckily though, I can just swim straight back up this uh, water here and I go and uh, carry on filling in the rest. So let me go and uh, fill this in here. And then if I go and place, uh, where do I need to do the signs? I can do one there and uh, one there. There we go. So uh, we now have this little hole. Uh, so I can't get back up. Uh, but once I've been knocked into this stew, uh, this is how I get down to this room. And uh, then we can just build some uh, some little tunnels uh, along here uh, which is going to lead to uh, these holes down here which are uh, what we're going to drop down so we can go and start the game again so uh, once I've built this little bit uh, the final thing to do is just to build the uh, the vegetables and then the uh, the broth brawl game will be 100% uh, complete it's getting rather exciting now isn't it I always get excited when it gets to a point when you can actually start playing the game it's cool when uh, you're building something that looks cool and you can say look this looks cool doesn't it but when it gets really exciting is when you can actually go and uh, begin playing the, the actual game itself is when uh, yeah, it becomes really good fun. So let me just go and uh, block all of this area off uh, because this room doesn't really need to be here. And uh, these are the potholes. These are the, the holes in the pot. So <laughs> I might as well go and put a, a sign up here uh, that says pothole uh, just to, to mark that this is a, a pothole here. <laughs> and oh no, it, it disappeared. My, my writing disappeared. Let me go and uh, uh, let me go and do it on this line. Let me go and try and write it again. So pot. Oh, I'm getting much quicker at typing now. I think I do need uh, another game of a uh, turbo type soon to see if I can do better. And uh, can you do the uh, the sign on the other side, Lee Bear? Uh, just saying uh, pothole again. And uh, I'm going to go and drop down the pothole and uh, see what it looks like from the, the outside. Are you okay in here, Luna? Oh, I feel sad now. She's all sitting here in the doghouse by herself. And she won't even look at me. She's not even looking at me. I'm sorry, Luna. I was just scared you were going to get hurt. Oh, she's in a strop with me. I only do it because I love you, Luna, I promise. I, I'm going to need her to make it up to her somehow. I'm, I'll find a way at the end of the video uh, to say sorry. And here we go. This 
is what we call a stew. This is a, a little bit more like it. So now uh, let's go and fill this in uh, with some vegetables. So uh, what should we do? Let's uh, let's go and add a, a nice big bit of uh, broccoli over here, shall we? So uh, the broccoli is going to have a, a, a lime green stem, and then this is going to be the uh, the top of the broccoli over here. And uh, what else can we do? We can do a, a nice big carrot. Uh, that can be going uh, along here, I think. So carrots are obviously uh, orange, and then the uh, the little green tip at the end that looks uh, a little bit like a carrot. We are going to have to use our imagination here <laughs> just uh, a little bit. And now let's go. Let's go and do uh, an eggplant, shall we? Or an aubergine, you could call them as well. So let's go and do a, a nice big aubergine uh, along here. Oh, actually, I should probably be doing them a little bit taller. They should be uh, coming out the the ground a little bit, uh, so that way, once you fall in the water, uh, then you can't uh, jump back up on them. So let me go and uh, make the broccoli a, a little bit bigger. So I guess I can do some which are like this, or which are kind of submerged in the water, and uh, some of the smaller ones, like if I do some peas, uh, can be all like uh, as if they're floating above the water could look quite cool. So let's go and uh, do the carrot a little bit higher. I'm going to make it a little bit shorter, actually. Uh, so I don't want them to be too big, uh, even though they might look better because uh, they'd have more detail. Uh, I think it would uh, make the... Um, yeah, the game a little bit too hard uh, to knock people in. So let's go. Uh, let's go and do a uh, a tomato as well, then, shall we? And I know that tomato is technically a, a fruit, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna still just count it as a vegetable and put it in here anyway. And uh, we can do a um, uh, we can do a big potato as well. We can do a, a big potato over here. Uh, so let me just go and uh, try and uh, place down some some brown wool for the potato. And I guess this can be just quite a, a long fat one along here. And we can go and build this up like this. And uh, what else could we do? Oh, we could do a um, we could do a mushroom. We could do a mushroom mushroom that one might be a, a nice cool one to do so uh, how do I do a, a mushroom shape I guess if I go like uh, this it looks a little bit like a mushroom, I guess. As I said, you are going to have to use your uh, imagination just uh, a little bit with this game. <laughs> I guess I can explain what all of the, the vegetables are in case you're not sure. And uh, we can also do... We could do some peppers. Uh, I could do myself a, a yellow pepper, I guess. Let's go and uh, we'll do the, the yellow pepper uh, around here. Let's go do it on this side down here. Uh, we can go and build it up like this. And if I go build it up like this as well, and I can just do one little leaf on the front there for the, the little pepper, a little stem. And uh, peas! We're going to do some peas! So, uh, as I said, I'm going to do these ones, uh, so they're going to be kind of floating on the water, uh, but I of course need to, to place a block first. I'm just going to uh, place down some blocks, and uh, then I'm going to go and destroy all of the, the ones underneath. And this is a, a good test to see what it's like jumping between them all. So here we go. Here is a, a big patch of peas. <laughs> and now I can jump down here. And if I grab my shears, I can go and break away uh, underneath all of the uh, the peas. And then that way, they kind of look like they're floating. They kind of look like they're floating above the stew a bit. Uh, but yeah, there's not much we can do about that. And here we go. Here are all of our vegetables. Do you want to have a, a little test to go jumping between them all, Lee Bear? See if you can, see if you can do a, a full circuit without falling in. There we go. He is doing a mighty fine job. <laughs> right, let's, um, let's have a, a test to go then, Lee Bear. Let's have a go. Let's go and drop down here. Uh, and so we can go and uh, grab some vegetables. I actually did leave some uh, in a a chest around here somewhere so uh, I think uh, yeah and it's just oh careful oh no oh no careful careful not near Luna not near Luna she's had a traumatic video enough and what's what's going on here looks like her looks like her doghouse is being decorated even for her and she's happy now now she's now she's being cheered up <laughs> anyway let's go and uh, have a little test again then shall we so uh, what vegetable shall we go for I'm gonna go for a carrot if you grab a, a potato or a pumpkin or a, uh, a mushroom there Lee Bear it's up to you I'm gonna go for the the carrot as my uh, as my uh, vegetable of choice and so yeah all we need to do in the game is to be the last one standing on the vegetables we just need to jump around and uh, try and knock the other person into the stew uh, without falling in ourselves it couldn't be any simpler. So let's begin the first ever test to go of Broth Brawl in three, two, one, go, 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 go. Right, I'm going to jump onto this big mushroom and uh, let's just try and work out what we want to do. So uh, when we're playing the game properly, uh, we'd like to have more people. I think it would be good with at least uh, three or four people playing uh, is when it's going to be most fun. And oh, he's gone for a fish. He's gone for a fish and we're trying to get each other. We just about can't reach. Right, I'm going to chase after him. I'm going to chase after him. He can't see me. I surprised him. I surprised him. I've knocked him. Oh no, he's knocking me as well. And oh no. I fell in. <laughs> right, let's do a uh, let's do a best of three then, shall we, Lee Bear? All right, so back to uh, back to our starting positions. He did uh, much better than me. I tried to surprise him there, uh, but I, I got stuck on the peas, and uh, the peas obviously are quite small, so you uh, fall off very easily. All right, so let's begin. Oh, he's going to jump up to the outside. <laughs> let's begin round two in three, two, one. Go, 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 go. So I need to make sure I beat him now, otherwise he is going to be the winner overall. If I win now, uh, then we're going to go to a uh, decider. I'm being risky and chasing after him, going over the peas. Oh, he's very good at jumping. He's jumping really fast. Can I 
catch up with him. I'm going to turn around and go around the other way, try and surprise him, jump over the carrot, and I'm right next to him, but I missed him. I could have got him there, but I missed him. I'm trying to knock him off the carrot. He's right on the edge. He's right on the edge. I'm on the broccoli, and oh, he fell in. <laughs> he fell in. Right. Let's go and do the, the third and final round now then. So whoever wins this uh, is going to be the uh, the winner of the game. And as I said, this is just a, a little tester game just to see whether the, the game works. And uh, in the next episode, we're going to have a, a proper broth rule tournament. Anyway, though, uh, let's begin the final round in three, two, one. Go, 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 go. So I want to make sure I do the uh, the same strategy as I did in the last go. Oh, can I surprise him? I got him when he's jumping. Where is he? He's right next to me. Can I get him in? Oh, we knocked each other in at the exact same time. It was a draw. <laughs> GG, GG. And the best thing now, Lee, is that we can eat the food that we were holding the entire game. Yay! Ah, <laughs> oh dear. So sadly, uh, that is the uh, the end of this episode here. So as I just mentioned, in the next episode, we are going to be having a broth brawl tournament, which should be jolly good fun. And Luna's happy now. She's happy jumping around. And she's there playing uh, uh, playing chase with Lee Bear as well. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. So that's the end of this episode here. I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!